Go ahead and get started here. So first off, we're going to discuss the overlay vertical adjustment tool. This tool's been around for quite some time in the various versions of our software. First originated back in Roadway Designer, and it's been inside of Open Roads since SS3, SS4, SS10, and now ORD. So same tool, functions basically the same way. Um, so if you knew how to use it way back in the days of inroads, it's pretty much the same deal. You just don't have the roadway designer dialogue and you don't have the nice pretty uh, pictures in the uh, actual tool settings box. But anyway, this tool was designed to help you um, create an adjusted vertical alignment based on your overlay settings and your milling settings. Okay, So it evaluates the template surface against the existing ground surface to calculate the elevation of the PGL necessary to minimize your overlay above or minimize milling below the surface. So it's essentially there to help you create an ideal vertical alignment based on your overlay and milling settings. Tool functions in two modes. There's a minimum overlay mode, and there's also a minimum milling mode, and we'll discuss those in a little bit. It's designed to handle a few different scenarios, common scenarios. So have those shown here. You can do just a regular minimum overlay. You can do an overlay plus some milling. And then it can also handle some minimum milling with maximum milling and without maximum milling. So a lot of flexibility, a lot of options to uh, creating your adjusted vertical based on some uh, resurfacing criteria. So next, I'm just going to show a quick little demo of the tool. If you have not seen this before, I'm going to be working inside of a geometry file that has my horizontal alignment. And I have my existing ground profile displayed, has my existing terrain model. And I also will have a corridor attached to this file. So over here, my plan view, I have my center line, I've got my existing ground profile. I have my corridor attached as a reference file, so you can have my 3D view, my cross-section view, of the, that's my corridor information there. And then to launch the tool, you just simply go over to the corridors, select overlay vertical alignment. It's gonna bring up the tool. And from here, we just wanna follow the prompts. This is gonna prompt us to locate our corridor. So we're gonna go ahead and grab that. That's shown here in the cross-sectional view in the 3D model. So it's going to go ahead and select it from the 2D view. And then we're going to start defining some settings. The first thing we need to do is give our adjusted vertical a name. So in this case, I'm just going to call it minimum milling. We need to set some station ranges. So we need to set the start and stop station. We need to give it a backbone thickness if you want to adjust the uh, template upwards. So I'm going to give it a backbone thickness of 0.25. I'll set the mode to um, minimum milling because I only want to mill out a maximum of two inches. So I'm going to set that to maximum milling. We want to mill out no more than two inches. That's our maximum milling, two inches. So I'm going to set that 0.167. And now I need to tell it where to look on the top of my template. We need to tell it to pick critical points to search between on the top of our template. It's going to analyze those template points. It's going to look at the existing ground and then the other values that we specified in the dialog to uh, make some adjustments. Okay, so we can examine all the cross-section points or we can examine just the uh, points at the template, lo template point locations. Once you do that, it goes ahead and creates the adjusted vertical for you in the profile model view. Okay, now this is just a segmented profile. It's not the... Uh, piece of civil geometry with tangents and curves, which is basically a line string based on your template drop intervals. Now what we want to do is we want to apply that vertical to our corridor. I have my corridor in a separate file, so I'm going to jump over there and I'm going to apply this new corridor to um, apply this new vertical alignment to my corridor. This particular corridor right now is just following along the existing ground profile, so it's just kind of sitting on the ground. Now we want to make some adjustments to that based on our settings that we used in the overlay tool. So I'm going to go here and select my minimum milling profile. 
I'm going to go through. It's going to raise it up a little bit to uh, match that vertical. And now you'll see the result of that. You can see here you got milling on that side, and over on the left we got a little bit of uh, overlay there, a little bit of leveling. That's essentially what the tool does from a very uh, basic um, aspect. Now we're going to get into some more detailed examples, and a little more advanced examples as we go along. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.